Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to create the carousel moving effect in Microsoft PowerPoint using the Morph uh, transition. Please note that there are many, many PPT tutorials on YouTube, but I make mine from the teacher's perspective. This effect is minimalistic and looks great when you introduce new vocabulary items. Let's get started. Open Microsoft PowerPoint. Create a blank presentation. Uh, right click on the slide, select layout and choose blank. Boom, we are ready to work. Next, click on the view tab right here and locate the slide master option here. We need to create image placeholders that will allow us to insert pictures easily later while maintaining the same size and alignment. Uh, you can also use it as a template in the future. So let me show you how um, you can do it. So um, let's select these uh, shapes and delete them. We don't need them. So we need to insert a placeholder. So here we go. Uh, click insert placeholder and select picture. Uh, and now we need to insert a picture in the middle of the slide. Uh, make sure it is centered perfectly. It needs to be centered right in the middle of the slide. Now in this tutorial, I will be working with six new vocabulary words, which means we need six pictures. So we need to copy paste them. To do so, you need to press and hold the control key and um, uh, copy paste six pictures. Here we go. Also, you need to make sure they are aligned perfectly. Also, you can uh, right click on this uh, layout and you can rename it. Uh, as I said, you can use it uh, as a template in the future, so we, maybe we can call it uh, Carousel Effect. Here we go. Rename. And now we can close our master view. So now, when you right click on the slide, select Layout, you can see our um, theme, our layout here. So we uh, choose it, we click on it, and here we go, right? Next, we need to add pictures, and it's a very simple procedure. Uh, click icon to add picture, yeah? So let me do just that. Done. Okay, next we need to add rectangular shapes of the same size as the photos. These shapes will serve as guides when we move the pictures in the next step. Uh, please bear with me, you will see what I mean in just a moment. So let's insert the rectangular shape. We click Insert, Shapes, and we choose Rectangle. And then we need to make sure it's aligned perfectly. And then uh, after we've created this shape, we are going to move it up. Here we go. And then we uh, press uh, and hold the control key and we copy paste all these shapes, making sure they are aligned perfectly. Okay. All right. We just need five shapes because we just need to cover the slide. We don't need to do it for every picture. After that, we are going to select every shape, uh, right click and group them here. Here we go. Excellent. All right. Um, our next step is to uh, turn all these photos into black and white. So we are going to select all these photos 
then we go to picture format color and i'll go with grayscale yeah so now all of all our photos are uh, black and white okay next step is to move these photos like so so this one is in the middle and uh, this uh, this picture needs to be in color so picture format color and then we uh, select this one no color okay next step is to duplicate the slide like so duplicate slide and look what we do here so we are going to select all the pictures again here we go and we are going to move them yeah like that then this picture should be uh black and white so here we go and this one the one in the middle should be uh in color so picture format color and we select this one yeah here we go now we repeat the procedure with the rest of the photos let me show you one more duplicate slide then we select all the photos and we move them there we go okay so this one uh, this one should be in black and white yes and this one should be in color picture format color and uh, yeah the original one here we go and yes do the same uh, with the rest of the pictures let me do it quickly okay done so now we can actually delete uh these shapes uh they served our pur purpose so we are just going to select them and delete them uh on every slide now we can insert the ellipse shape to create a panoramic effect for the photos we're going to start with the first slide so click insert shapes and choose this one oval right and then we are going to insert it here make sure it's long enough and also make sure it is centered perfectly yeah here we go then we go to shape format shape fill uh white uh, shape outline no outline yeah and then we are going to copy paste it uh at the bottom of the slide like so again you need to make sure that they are positioned perfectly yeah here we go and now we can do the same thing uh, with the rest of the slide so uh, press and hold the control key uh, and uh, select all these uh, these two shapes then uh, select copy and then you can use the key combination control v yeah to do it for the rest of the slide control v okay done excellent beautiful beautiful next step is to apply the morph transition effect yeah so we go to transitions we select morph uh the duration i suggest maybe one second uh this will be enough and also we can choose apply to all yeah we click that okay now let's take a look what we have created so far let's go um into the slideshow and let's see what happens and look at that it already looks great well we are going to make it better yeah all right so now we need to create um some text to work uh with our presentation yeah to go with our presentation so we click insert and then uh shapes 
and we choose the rectangle uh, the rectangle and let's put it here right uh, also we need to do it maybe this way okay and you can position it here so it's right in the middle of this light and uh, here we can write jobs because well we are uh, teaching jobs there are six new words and this will be the topic of our um, lesson yeah also if you like you can choose uh, any font you want I'll go with this one right and also we need uh, some text here again you make sure um, they are positioned nicely evenly I mean align uh, aligned nicely and evenly and also here uh, you give a word yeah doctor here we go this is the doctor and then you copy uh, these two uh, boxes and uh, you copy paste them into all uh, the rest of your slides now we need to insert some arrows yeah so to do that uh, you click insert icons and you can type up arrows or you can just click arrows and choose two arrows you need i'll go with this one and this one and then we click insert there we go so now we're gonna put them uh, one is going to go here okay I think this is a good place and this one goes here again you make sure they are aligned perfectly okay so now we need to apply a hyperlink uh, to these arrows so this one uh, you click on this arrow right click hyperlink place in this document and you choose uh, next slide this one click OK then uh, this arrow the back arrow right click hyperlink place in this document and choose previous slide OK then you select both arrows uh, right click copy and then you copy them on the rest of your slides this way uh, you don't need to create this hyperlinks again they will be uh, pasted automatically okay and now let's take a look what we have so far so we go into the uh, presentation mode and when i click on the arrow look this is what happens yeah so uh it works well no problem okay all right now let's uh finish our presentation um now let's create like uh separate slides which give a little bit more information about the word so uh here's what we do so right click on this slide and choose uh, duplicate then put the slide at the end of your presentation and here look so uh now we are introducing the word doctor right so we need to move up all this uh objects so um select a shape then press and hold the control key select other shapes and just uh, move it up do the same uh for the shapes at the bottom of your slide like this okay now we don't need all these photos the ones which are in black and white we don't need this uh, shapes either so let's delete them okay and uh, we are going to move this image here okay we can go to picture format and also um, we can drop shadow rectangle to make it a little bit more beautiful and here we write the text we want so we click insert text box and we can write something uh, whatever you want in my case will be this is Sarah she is a doctor 
she helps sick people get well yeah of course we need to uh make it larger why well, you, you can change the font you can make it uh you can use whichever font you like okay i think this looks good and also since it's a new word i'm going to highlight it yeah i'm going to, uh, uh, to, to to change the color into the red one yeah so here we go this is sarah she's a doctor she helps sick people get well and also we need to insert an arrow which takes us back to the original slide so we do insert icons and again we are looking for an error so we click arrows and this one i think looks good enough so i'm going to put it here make it a bit longer maybe yeah this looks good okay then right click hyperlink and we are going to choose slide one so it goes to the first slide yeah then we go to the first slide and here we click on the photo of the doctor right click uh, hyperlink place in this document and it goes to slide seven yeah okay so let's see what we've got so far Let's go into the slideshow, the presentation mode, yeah? So look, if I click on this image, it's going to take me to the slide, which gives a little bit more information about Sarah. Here we go. This is Sarah. She's a doctor. She helps sick people get well. And if I click on this arrow, it takes us uh, back. Okay. And you do the rest, uh, you do the same for the rest of the pictures. Let me do one more. Let me do one more. Let me do this one. Yeah, the farmer. So right click, duplicate, then we take it, uh, we put it here, right? And then we do the same. This goes up. This goes down. Okay then we don't need all these photos we delete them frames okay this is our farmer picture format let's yeah okay and here So let's say this is Bob. Let's include some text. He's a farmer. And he grows rice in the fields. Here we go. And also we need this arrow here. We can just uh, take it from the previous slide, but also you need to make sure uh, that they lead to the correct slide. So uh, right click and you choose edit link and uh, the farmer goes to the farmer. So it goes to slide number two. Okay. And then you go to the second slide here. Then you select farmer, right click and uh, hyperlink it. It should go to slide eight, this one. So let's take a look what we have so far. Okay, so we have doctor. Here we go. We go next, farmer. Excellent, so it works. Now we do the same uh, for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the images, for the rest of the photos. Okie dokie, now let's take a look at the final product. Hello children, let's learn some jobs. Who is she? She is a doctor! Please read, this is Sarah. She's a doctor, she helps sick people get well. Yay! Next one. Firefighter, yeah? This is John, he's a firefighter, he puts out fires. Excellent. Next. 
teacher. Yeah, this is Bella. She's a teacher. She teaches children at school. Next. Farmer. This is Bob. He's a farmer. He grows rice in the fields. Excellent. Next one. Pharmacist. This is Michelle. She's a pharmacist. She helps people with their medication. Uh, with their medication, sorry. And finally, pilot. Yeah, this is Rolf. He's a pilot. He flies planes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you can now uh, make it on your own. And uh, believe me, your presentation is going to look so much better with this simple uh, effect. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.